Hey y'all, um, welcome to my channel. Um, welcome, please leave a comment. Um, I do read my comments. Um, I don't always fact check, I should let you know that right now here. Um, but please leave your comments, any questions and such. I, I will, I do get to them. I do read all my comments and I try to get back to all of them if there are questions involved. Uh, once I get, when I do get notified. Um, also, please subscribe uh, if you want to subscribe, uh, and that'd be great. Um, I, I, in normal cases, as I mentioned in some of the uh, some of my videos, I try to avoid politics. Except there was the one time with George Santos issue, but that was more I had no choice. But well, not I did have a choice, but in reality, it was just too close at home that I had to talk about it. Um, this situation right now that's going on in the GOP, how uh, not the GOP, but like the House. Uh, going for a fourth round now, or fifth round for that matter, actually. Uh, it's going for a fifth round now, and um, basically McCarthy looking to become the Speaker of the House uh, with the short amount of Republicans that are in place and, like, you know, not having the majority votes to become the Speaker. Uh, it, it, it's, it is definitely sort of embarrassing to an aspect in the Republican Party, basically, for what's going on, because, I mean, this has never happened in almost 100 years, practically. Um, it's the fact that, you know, like, it, there are a hardline group of Republicans, 20 or so, basically, that are refusing to, you know, basically holding steadfast. And one of them is basically Gates, who's basically holding off, saying, we do not want McCarthy to be president. Even though McCarthy was has um sort of well he's gotten sort of not an official endorsement but sort of an endorsement from trump so you think because of that you know some of the republican party those 20 republicans or so 20 odd republicans or maybe 18 for that matter specifically those that are being led by gates would say you know okay you know what let's vote for mccarthy but it's not happening and like gates has not gates um mccarthy has conceded some issues to some of the people and like Apparently, I'm, I'm not, you know, there's more to it, it seems. And so it's 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 becoming a little bit of a running joke now at this point, um, to be honest. And I, I, I don't mean to say it in the, in, in, you know, in an aspect of ridicule, but it's more of a case where maybe McCarthy steps down. But the question is, who steps in place for it? And, and that's a question I don't know exactly. Uh, honestly, if I'm a Republican or an independent, if I'm, a, if I'm a Republican that was for McCarthy the entire time and you're seeing these group of 20 holding your party hostage practically because you guys want McCarthy, but just these 20 don't, you know what I would do? I would just basically rally up another five to six Republicans, you know, like conservative, you know, conservative Republicans, but that are more towards on the middle end, like, you know, between conservative and liberal to the point where, like, you know, they're in the middle, that they're like, you know what? If they, they want to do this, then this is on them. I would just then therefore go with Jeffries. It's like, you know, on the sixth on the sixth or seventh ballot, say, like, okay, if this is what's going to be, stand up, says, all right, if this is what it is, you know, when you find out that, you know, the four, four or five votes that aren't going towards McCarthy but towards some other third random uh, person or fourth person for that matter, you know what? You say, okay, fine, you know what? If this is the case... I vote for Jeffries. If this is how the party wants to be held, I vote for Jeffries. And if if the Speaker of the House becomes a, a Democrat, it's on you 20 that chose to do that. And just to show them basically it's on them basically. To the point that you publicly become, by doing this, you publicly ridicule them because it's their fault that a you know, Democrat becomes a Speaker of the House as a result of it. Because these 20 are hard-nosing it and they're going to say, well, no, you didn't have to do that. Well, you didn't have to do this because we all said it's going to be McCarthy. To uh, about two hundred some odd uh, of the uh, two hundred some odd representatives and colleagues are saying we want McCarthy. You twenty don't. So because of that, we're gonna go. You know, like screw you. We're gonna do Jeffries, and it's on you at that point. And that's it. I mean, that would be that would be a really funny joke. And specifically, you could put it right onto Gates himself too, onto Gates himself, and say it's like you know, it's on you, basically, dude. You are an idiot. And like he's probably gonna come back. And say, no, you didn't have to do this. We didn't have to go. We could concede. It's like all right, well, you could have said something. You chose not to say anything. It's like you know, giving up a proper person. You just kept going random people at that point. In reality, you didn't. You wanted to be you, basically. And we know you were never gonna get it. So it's just you chose to do this. We chose to like you know ridicule. You know, you chose this path. And you force us on this end, basically. That way. And that would be really, I mean, it would have been great for the Republican Party, but it would be, 
it would be a great, great joke, to be quite honest. It'd be a great joke on him. Um, and put the blame on him to the point where, like, you know what? It's because of him that when it comes time for the 2022 election uh, for his district, I think that's 2022 or maybe 2024, uh, you just say, hey, look, because of him, this is what happened. You vote for him, you're voting for your idiot, you know, mediocrity at that point and whatever it is, uh, um, et cetera, basically. Now, there are those that are like, you know, Gates fans. You know what? If, if you got our fans, come up with, you know, come up with someone better than for McCarthy. You know, basically give your nomination who it should be. Don't go randomly, you know, like through a certain number of people. You're not, you're just basically putting out there because you don't want to give that vote to McCarthy. And if you don't want McCarthy, you know what? You just say, okay, fine. You know what? We'll vote for, you know, we'll vote for Jeffries. It'd be funny at that point because, it, you know, well, it wouldn't be funny at that point, but in reality, do not be surprised if there's going to be some Republicans that are going to be so fed up with this that for those that are in the middle, they're probably just going to go Jeffries at that point. Honestly, I think they wouldn't vote for Jeffries. If there was someone else in between as well, too, that's not more liberal, but in, towards the middle, that's a Democrat, but that's still towards the middle, which was what, you know, pretty much Clinton was, uh, Bill Clinton, that is, um, that would, I think they would do that, too, to be honest with you. But I don't know. That's that's. That's my opinion, basically. I don't know. But it's it's becoming a little bit of a running joke now, un unless something happens at this point. And the question is, is like, how much more does McCarthy concede? That's the real question. How much more does he concede at this point? Because in reality, it's not straightforward to like concede that much. But at the same time, you have to concede a lot more as a result. So the question is, what does he concede? What, what else does he give up to get those votes to become Speaker? If he wants to be Speaker so badly then you're going to have to give up a lot more as a result. In reality, um, I don't think that's the case. Um, he wants to be Speaker, and it, he could try the best as he can, but in reality, it's not gonna, it doesn't look like it's going to happen unless he concedes considerably. But the real question is, why become Speaker? I mean, yes, you are the third most powerful person in the country, but at the same time, you don't become President. I mean, like, if he's assuming Biden gets, you know, he gets uh, sick or, you know, God, for whatever reason, happens to him, and it comes down to Kamala Harris. Um, the question is, is like, does he do they have something to the point of like on Kamala Harris that she has to get indicted or impeached at that point? If that's the case, then all right, that's a that could work in that favor in that aspect. And I can see why you know that's going to happen. I mean, let's not forget the last person to never be voted as vice president, to never be vote, to never be elected vice president or elected to be president was Ford. And if only Ford became a vice president because, you know, Nixon had to basically dismiss his vice president, Agnew, for, you know, Ford at the time to make, you know, uh, reclamations for, you know, basically Watergate. And then as a result, having to resign as a result of Watergate, you know, Ford became president. The Democrats enjoyed it because the fact is, is like, think about it, you know, like it was one of those things where like Ford was not really a strong candidate to be a vice president or president for that matter. Hence the reason why Carter came in and like he won it at that point. Um, it'd be really interesting to see what would happen uh, if something of that nature happens again, uh, you know, something were to happen to that aspect. But in reality, I, you know, we're not going to see that happen anyways. But in but in any case, um, let me guys know what your thoughts are about this whole scenario with uh, McCarthy, the uh, the Senate, uh, the House Speaker, uh, as far as, you know, going uh, looks like, you know, the fifth round. Um, I don't know where they're at right now, actually. Let me see. Uh, doo -doo -doo. okay. It looks like, yeah, he's not going to get it. Um, the fact is, is basically, uh, yep. Uh, yeah. yeah. Donald's has been voted 20, got 20 votes again. So that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, he's not going to get, so the fifth ballot is not going to work. He needs something in, in return at this point. I hate to say it, but you know what? I'm sorry. Uh, again, let me guys know what you think, uh, thoughts are on this. Uh, I'd love to hear your feedback on it. Um, I don't know what to say. I'm just going to keep it under 10 minutes because we could probably go on and on about this subject matter. But like I said, I don't try to go into delve into too deep into politics, but this is just something that's really, really turning into an ongoing joke at this point. I mean, honestly, uh, the late night talk show host talk shows must be loving this. You know, the comedians like Jimmy Kimmel, Jimmy Fallon, and uh, Stephen Colbert, etc. They must be loving this. This is gold for them at this point. So let's see how it goes. Uh, in any case, 
unfiltered, unedited, and unrehearsed. Until next time.